I'm Fred Beal, I'm the general manager of uh, Beal Company, and uh, I would like to introduce the, uh, the escaper. So the escaper is uh, a detachable anchor point uh, made for um, siling only with a single rope. It is certified. Uh, the, the strength of the escaper is uh, 18 kN. It weighs 90 grams, so it's very packable, it's very light. You have a small packaging uh, with all the details and uh, with an elastic band in order to place it on the arm so you know exactly how you have to use it. And it works with any type of anchor points. So you place it in the anchor point and then you just have to follow the dynamite tunnel with the rope. The rope is dry treated, so uh, in any case it doesn't absorb water. It's important. So you, you follow the dynamite tunnel. and the system is ready to be used. There is a black mark here uh, in order to show people the limit of the encores. So you can use it as long as at the initial position the black mark is visible. That's the only restriction. Uh, if you have a tree, for instance, you see that there's not a lot of, of space. Maybe we will come with a second lens. We'll see that a little later if there is a, a huge request on that, on that kind of thing. Uh, and then you're, you're set. You have the rope you've climbed with, if it's a single rope, uh, for instance. So I have here the Joker Soft in my hands. We do another hand note and place it into the blue loop. So another hand note in order to have something which is very compact, for sure. And then the system is ready to be used. You must keep a pressure of 10 kilograms on the system in order to lock it. When you arrive down, you have to pull on the system to release it. And then you go down, you pull it eight times minimum to release the system. What we will recommend, uh, if you do not know very well the route, if you're looking for the over anchor point, you can tie a knot here. So the system will not release, impossible to release. The only thing you have to, to do is the last one that will be leaving the belay will have to untie the knot, for sure. We see that there is a lot of people now who is trying to make multiple routes but with a single rope. And so they have in their backpack uh, a cord. We have a new one also. It is called the backup line. Uh, and you wrap it down with 60 meters of single rope and then 60 meters of wrapping rope. But you still carry 60 meters of rope. Uh, to wrap it down. And uh, with the escaper, you only have 90 grams only in your backpack. Very small, very compact. So that's the first use. And the second use is, is for escaping, uh, as the name indicates. It's just you're climbing a multi-pit route with a half rope. A rock falls down, cut one strand of your rope. You can still wrap it down thanks to the escaper. So two main uses for me. Uh, Multi-pitching with only one single rope. And instead of carrying 60 meters of a backup line, you carry just the escaper, and the other one is just in case of uh, any problem that can happen during the climb. The rope itself doesn't matter, uh, as it is not part of the system, it's an addition to the system. Uh, as long as you can go down with your metallic device on the rope, it works with any kind of rope. As you can see, the system itself is not big. When you wrap it down with uh, two strands of half ropes, you need to link it together with a knot and it's a bigger knot than, than this one. So the, the stacking problem is not increased by the escaper, it is exactly the same one. The stem is not bigger than the usual way to do it. The setup is, is quite easy, as you can see, uh, the dynamo tunnel is, is quite obvious and then you have arrows that are guiding you through the process. We made multiple trials for sure, did a, a lot of, of samples, a lot of demonstration during the different shows. I never heard anyone saying, well, I don't understand how it works. I don't know how it, it has to be done. So for me, it's very easy. So the idea uh, came to us through a climber. We have a pattern on that. And then we made multiple tests in order to have the right elastic here, uh, in order to have the right length here, uh, the different sewings process. It, it took us eight months to have the product perfectly designed as it is right now. And we made for sure extended tests 
on the field uh, with different uses and different conditions in order to be sure that it works in every time. We have a girl working for us, her name is Claire, and Claire did an impressive job. She's doing a lot of job for us in terms of development. Uh, every sewing product uh, comes from, from her, uh, let's say harnesses for instance, but also this product. And uh, she was also the first one to test it on the field. And uh, she was very confident. <laughs>